Well, another key building block for uh, the SIT Zero P Southland Sharks 2018 roster, confirming Hayden Allen's uh, back for uh, for next year. H, stoked with that news, mate. Um, t- tell us what's brought you back. Um, what brought me back? One, I guess as just mentioned, I've got a I'm fortunate enough to have a uh, lovely wife that supports me and my um, and my drive to just keep playing hoops and I'm um, a good employer of the breakers um, to allow me to come down and, and keep playing. Um, but I guess long short of it is I just like playing hoops and I kind of like having a bit competitive each week. Um, and just as importantly, I had a handshake deal with Brian. He's going to buy me a swan drone when I come back down, so it's very important. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> so he's going to have to deliver on that promise. That's outstanding. Hey, um, <laughs> so what is it now? So is it season 21 or have you stopped counting now? Yeah, I've stopped counting there, thereabouts. The boys keep giving me jobs about me retiring every now and again. But yeah, it's all cocking me, so now nah, I'll be back. And uh, I'm not too sure what what season number it is. It's kind of I lose track. And um, yeah, as long as we can fit it, I'll be happy. Yeah, nice. I mean, you have been part, obviously, of plenty of locker rooms in your time. Give us an idea about you know what makes this group, from a Sharks' point of view, um, special in your mind. Um, one, I think, just the um, the organisation as a whole. I love coming down there. One of myself and boy, and I like the kind of the whole community feel of it. Um, Jill and the and the management team are outstanding in terms of what they do. And from a locker room point of view, and I guess leading it with Juddy, um, he's a competitive guy, and we've gone through a number of things together that um, I kind of some trust and um, things with him where I know we're going to be competitive and we'll be there at the sharp end of the season. He puts in the time, um, which I appreciate. And from a, a playing group, I think just there's no, we haven't really got any superstars in our team. Um, there's guys that are pushing for higher honours, which is always good. And I think we've got some of the boys in the team have got the ability to be the best players in the league. Um, and again, yeah, it's just a, a good bunch of guys to hang out with, um, not just on the court, but off the court also, which is which plays a big part in it when you're down south. And we're um, obviously a number of us being out of town as we kind of get to spend a lot of time um, at restaurants and and so forth, doing the thing, and it's yeah, I just really enjoy enjoy the group. Yeah, and I mean, great to see that you know you got that core group, you know yourself now along with Rubes and Luke and and uh, you know James and Darone and Chief, you know all those guys coming back. How important do you reckon that consistency is, you know, year to year? Yeah, um, I think it's great. Um, we kind of can we know everybody knows what what Judd expects of us, um, and that's just to compete. Um, irrespective of from where you are in terms of minutes and things played. Um, but, yeah, the consistency is you know the team ethos and you know what, what's asked of you, um, which is a big part of it. And, yeah, I think it's a continuation of and what the somewhat of a success last year, making the final was great, but I think we need to try and uh, obviously do one better and, and that, that's the goal. Yeah, nice. I've seen your name uh, cropping up in some Auckland club reports, dropping 30 or 40 a night. Um, what, are you, what are you doing on court at the moment? Um, well, we've, we're a bit lucky up here. We we play year-round in the summer league that um, that Lindsay runs and it's run out of the gym just, just here. Um, we've kind of put together the, all the NBL players from around around Auckland, um, which is a number of them from around you know the, the provincial franchises. Um, we play each Saturday. Um, and I've just happened to, yeah, the ball's gone through the hole a couple of times recently, and it's it's been great. It's just uh, it's good to get a sweat up each week against um, some good competition. Yeah, good stuff. And, and off the court, obviously, I mean, you're in full noise, as you say, with, with the breakers and that community role. I mean, what's keeping you busy there? Yeah, um, yeah, community stuff, um, junior breakers. We've got oh, more teams, more kids coming through. You shake the ticket, which is which is outstanding for the game of basketball. Um, North Harbour's just seen a. Huge increase in basketball across the board. I think Paul was talking about um, New Zealand as a whole. I think there's a 27 percent increase in, in participation numbers, which is huge. And I think it's in no no small part to what Paul and Liz have done over the years. And it's kind of started to come to fruition. Um, and we're seeing that here at the Breakers. I think the kids on the North Shore. Yeah, I mean, the kids on the North Shore here um, are fortunate with uh, having the Breakers on their back doorstep. Yeah, and I suppose it helps when your team strings nine wins in a row together. Yeah, most definitely. Yep. Um, you know, New Zealand, New Zealand fans are pretty fickle in, in the best of times, and <laughs> um, yeah, they they love to support winners, which is which is fair enough. And the boys have, have been playing outstanding. They've just been winning games in the in the last minutes, and they've just got that belief that they can um, continue to do that.
Yeah, good stuff. Hey, nice mate. Well, I tell you what, I know I speak on behalf of all the uh, Sharks fans down south that were stoked to have you uh, to have you back in Orange for uh, for next year, brother. So uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the in between bits and, and keep up the good work. And we'll look forward to checking in next year, eh? Thanks, buddy. Can't wait to come back down.